let's look at more examples of these rather weird logarithmic functions. So we're just going to focus on converting from one form to the next. So on 6, we're looking at a squared squared equals a to the fourth. Just a simple property of exponents that the twos will multiply together to give you four. So we need to convert this into a logarithmic form. So this is a bit confusing because we have a's all over the place, but here what's acting as a is a squared. And we need to convert it into a logarithmic form, which is y equals log base a of x. So lots of a's flying around here. What I've got boxed up here is what's acting as our a in this instance. So in this case, the subscript on the log the a is going to be a squared. The exponent for a squared is 2. So that's acting as our y. And x is the rightmost entity, a to the fourth, and it's still going to stay in its place. It's still going to stay on the right. But the a squared and the 2 kind of flipped. Instead of a squared coming first and 2 coming second, 2 comes first and a squared comes second when you write it in this logarithmic form. On 8, as we're done with 6, 8 asks us to rewrite 10 to the 4th equals 10,000 to rewrite this equation in its logarithmic form. So this should be hopefully a little bit simpler because a is clearly 10, y is 4, and x is 10,000. And when we convert this, it's going to be y equals log base a of x. So y in this problem is 4, a is 10, and x is 10,000. So, saying 10 to the 4th is 10,000 is the same thing as saying that 4 is equal to log base 10 of 10,000. Now let's try things the other way around. Let's try going from the logarithmic form to a more familiar exponential form. So I'm looking at 18, where we have log base a of 1 is equal to 0. Again, some kind of confusing stuff because we've got a's um, in the original problem. And if I write this the way we've been writing it, we have y equals log base a a, well that's not too bad, a is just a. So there's no real difficult conversion to go through here. And this converts into a to the y equals x. So the first two numbers that I see, actually not these two, but rewritten like this, are going to be switched around. Zero isn't going to come first. It's a that's going to come first, and then zero and finally 1 will always be last. So saying that a to the 0 equals 1, that's what we were saying when we state that log base a of 1 is 0. This is the same thing as a to the 0 equals 1. So this is an exponential property and it turns out this is going to be a logarithmic property. Let's go ahead and look at 20, where we're told that log base 1 -fifth of 5 
is equal to minus 1. So we rewrite this so that the logs on the right hand side of the equation and then we're going to end up flipping the first two numbers. So it's going to be one-fifth to the negative one and that's going to equal the last number, five. So saying log base one-fifth of five is equal to minus one is the same thing as saying one-fifth to the negative one, the reciprocal of one-fifth is five.